My name is Coral O'Leary. This is my poem, Fake Queer, recorded for Lavender Review, June 2022, issue 25. Fake Queer. When I was 14, my boyfriend choked me. He pushed his big thumbs against my windpipe. He said, laughing, stop being a bitch or else I won't let go. Tears did not give me oxygen. This is just another story of a fake queer trying to breathe. We queers in the wilds of Western New York, the rejected and strange folk of the late 1990s, insipid early 2000s, gathered around watering holes. On New Year's Eve, I wore a cardboard crown. Pandora box performed on a tiny stage and we cheered as midnight exploded, Cindy Lauper style. Off onto the sidewalk, into a new year, my friend's girlfriend called at men on the street. Good night, bro, good night, bro, laughing once they were out of earshot, that she could pass. Pass. Her word. I wonder how she is now. One time, she sucked at the pulse in my neck. She said, I bet I can turn you on, you asexual. Her body was full of sorrow, quivering with emotion. I said, okay. She didn't choke me with her hands. Our car broke down and the tow truck didn't show. Outside, the air was so cold it made my lungs hurt. I could barely breathe. We considered calling for help, but no one would come pick us up. So we waited numbly like snowmen in the winter near Lake Ontario. No one was coming for us. There are no buses in western New York, only cloud watching and cursing in the snow. I am a fake queer. My lack of breath is just a front. I used to listen to Belle and Sebastian because my best friend, who I thought I was in love with, who I think I was in love with, who I think, who I thought, who I love, who I loved, pulled a carving knife out of her kitchen drawer. She tried to find the bones in her arm by cutting deep, and her mother walked in. She told me about it, how it feels to cut to the bone. I never loved her any less, and me asking, without asking, why, in her car on a cold winter's night, why can't you love me? Why can't you love me this way? My love is disposable. The bruises on my throat, forgettable. This poem, confessional. But now people ask me, why, why can't you love me? And I can only answer back that I am a fake queer, that I have not understood the trials and tribulations at this point in my life to appreciate what it is like to be choked, dehumanized, stared at, pushed down. I am a fake queer. It all must be in my head. And so I am sorry for this poem as eulogy. I am sorry for getting choked. I am sorry for saying queer in all the gay bars I've been to. I'm sorry for saying gay all the times I've been gay, and I'm sorry for saying fuck off all the times I've been yelled at on the train after kissing a girl on a date. But mostly, I'm sorry that I've said nothing when other people say asexual, aromantic, you can all breathe easy. And I say, I have been choked. I have been choked. I am sorry not to have said before now that I have been choked.